Hey guys, uh, Rick here, back down at the layout. Uh, not much progress done for me, but uh, I was on YouTube the other day and came across the video from a fellow model railroader on uh, how he installs tortoise switch machines. And uh, I wanted to kind of share that with you and uh, try it out for myself. I did a little mock-up and uh, see just how easy it really is. Uh, the guy's name is Jim Worcester. I believe I said that right. If not, Jim, please forgive me. I will put a link down in the description below to his video. Um, he only has a couple videos out there, a couple on JMRI, and then this one on his uh, tortoise. Uh, he actually has the Smail tortoises. They're the ones with the integrated um, decoder inside. But the concept is the same for both. Mine are not Smail. They're the regular tortoise uh, switch machines. Uh, but he only has a couple views, uh, a couple of uh, subscribers. Um, I did talk to him once, but briefly, just like in a comment. And um, he sounded like he was going to produce more. So let's go ahead and get him some, uh, some more views and some more subscribers. Hey, look at that. I just did my first shout out video. Um, let's get Jim up there and get, get another member in the community. Um, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get you down here to my workbench and show you exactly what you're going to need for this uh, little project for the install, and then we'll go from there. All right, so for this project, you're obviously going to need a tortoise switch machine. You're going to need a turnout. Uh, the screw that came with the tortoise switch machine. A pair of wire crimpers. Some... Um, painter's tape or any other adhesive tape that you're comfortable with. Some double face tape. Uh, I just happened to steal these from my uh, my wife's craft table. So it's just these little squares. I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, you're going to need these there you go, terminal clips. And for this project I'm also using a piece of uh, piano wire. This wire I got on Amazon from a company called Precision Metals. Um, not sure if you can see with the glare, but it is 0 0.032 music wire. That comes out to 0 0.81 millimeters. All right, so let's do a little bit of prep work and then I'll take you over to um, my little mock-up. So. First thing you want to do on the top of your tortoise is put your double face tape. Again, mine just happened to be squares, but you could put a whole block piece on there, whatever it may take. Um, hang on to that. Uh, the other thing that you're going to do is take your music wire, take one of these little wire terminals, and you're going to crimp that on the end of one. Make sure it's nice and tight. There you go. And that's actually it for the prep work. Uh, let me take you over to my uh, mock-up. All right, so here I just uh, put together an old piece of track and a couple two by threes so you can get both an under view and a side view of what's going on here. Um, just to give you a quick note, so imagine for a moment that this was your layout. I've already drilled a hole right here for where my turnout is going to go. <clears throat> Very simply, the painter's tape. What you want to do is align your points in the center. And then tape them down so they don't move. But make sure that you're, 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 I would imagine, I'm assuming at this point that your track is already in place. Your turnout is all either glued or pinned down. Mine's not because it's just a mock-up. So I've taped my points in place so that the points are dead center. Neither one of the rail is touching on either side. And imagine if you were on your layout. Now I've got bench work under here, so this isn't going to be completely accurate. But if you were working with the smaller rods that come with your tortoise, what do you think is going to happen when you put your rod 
through your turnout, and then you're underneath, and you're trying to put your tortoise up, and you let go. Well, the whole thing comes down. That's the point of having the wire terminal up here. So when you let go, it stays put. It's not going to come through your turnout. So now what you can do, since we've already preset our terminal uh, or, our, um, or our switch to the center position, what you can do is now take off your double-sided tape. You can line your tortoise up putting putting the, uh, the, the the wire through the wire feed here you can now line that tortoise up by eye and stick it in place and it should be directly centered with your switch machine that's how you want it to look now I'm not going to Blew mine up there just yet because I don't plan on putting that here. Now, the point of the other wire knot, the other wire terminal, what you're going to do is on the end of your wire, as it's still in the terminal, or I'm sorry, still inside the terminal, I keep using all the wrong terminology here, while it's still in the wire holder of the the tortoise, you want to put this one in and you want to crimp that also. Now this one you want to make sure that you get a really good crimp on because this one is going to be permanent. And there we go. That's what it looks like on the other end. So now when you take your screw provided by your tortoise, you can now imagine that this is all lined up, right? You got your switch in your hole. That's all lined up. Now what you could do is take your screw, put that through the hole, of the wire terminal and feed that right into your tortoise just like that bam no bending no setting the wire in the right configuration you don't have to use that template it's lined up just like that, and your tortoise is, is straight in your hole. Your wire above is still lined up. Your points are still centered. And now, all right, I'm going to drop the tortoise here because I'm not using it. Now, when you come back up to the top of the layout, you've got your tortoise under there. It's in place. All you have to do is trim off this wire, and then you can reuse that for another day. All right, guys, I hope that all made sense. Uh, I know it's kind of a makeshift setup, but wanted to give you an idea of how awesome I thought it was. I wish I would have known that or thought of that before I decided to do 18 tortoises on my layout. Um, so yeah, hopefully that uh, if you're in the process of making your layout or putting in points or setting up uh, uh, changing out to tortoise switch machines. I hope you try this out and I hope it works. If it does, awesome. Pass the knowledge on. Let's keep the community going. And as always, rail riders, let's ride these rails together. See ya.